So we want to use this cylinder to create a hole. So I need to make sure that it's passing completely through this box. So I'm going to switch to my front view. And now if I click on the cylinder, I should see a solid black arrow that's pointing toward the top of the interface. So I can click and hold on this arrow to move the cylinder down. So I want to make sure that it's in a position where I see a little bit of the cylinder sticking above the box and a little bit of it sticking below the box. So I'm going to return to my home view. And before we try to make this cylinder a hole, we need to change it so that it is a hole. So I'm going to click on the cylinder. And now in the shape dialog box, I should see a hole option. So I'm going to click on that. That turns that cylinder into a, a hole object. Now when I select both the box and the cylinder. I'm just doing this by clicking somewhere and dragging that little dotted box so that it's touching both, both the box and the cylinder. Then I'm going to use a command called the group command. It's kind of t at the top uh, of the Tinkercad interface. And as soon as I click on that, it will take that cylinder and turn it into a hole. So now if I manipulate my view cube, and see that I have a hole going through where we can put the key ring onto this key chain plate. Mm -hmm.